Hello from Hoi An. Uh, Hoi An is really known as being a absolutely picturesque town. Yeah, we're excited to be here. We've yeah. read a lot about it. We've watched a lot of videos on it. And now we're finally here, which is a little bit surreal, mm -hmm. but we made it. Yep, we're staying for a couple days and excited to just kind of take a look around and see, try some good food, because uh, there's some kind of key dishes you want to try while you're here and probably grab some beer. Well, one, uh, one dish we need to get right now, we're staying in a hotel. We got one cup of coffee each. Yeah. Instant so coffee. we know that they have egg coffee here yeah. and I think that's what we're going for. We like for. our egg coffee and if you haven't had it, you got to try it when you're in Vietnam because I think that's the only place you can get it. Okay, so we got our coffee. Being in Hoi An, you're going, it is a touristy area, so you pay a little bit more for things. This is for 57,000 dong, uh, so about $2.40. We're gonna see if this compares to the coffee that we had in Hanoi. It's a lot sweeter, and it's actually kind of chocolatey, so. It sounds delicious. It's good, but it's nowhere near as good. I'll say that. So now when you are here, you need to buy a ticket if you want to go into any of the sites. It's 120,000 dong, so about five dollars. And then you can pick off of the list five of those places that you want to go see. Yeah, there's some temples, there's some museums, there's uh, the oldest house here in Hoi An, which we'll probably check that. That sounds kind of cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, $5, it goes to a great cause. Grab the ticket. You can walk through Old Town without going to these destinations, but for $5, why not just get a ticket? So these are kind of interesting. I don't know the meaning behind them or anything, but they are actually a circular hanging from the ceiling, but they're incense. And so they just slowly keep burning all the way up. Huh, interesting. Okay, one thing you wanna keep in mind while you're here in Hoi An is it's early March at 10 a.m. and there are already a lot of people out and about and there's gonna be a lot more buses come in so get here early, just like with any large tourist area. Get up in the morning, get your egg coffee, and get out and about. Yeah, now if you're looking to buy anything, you can get it here. Yeah. Mary's already got herself a dress. I might need to get a hat to keep the sun off. Uh, other than that, I think I'm good. Carrie's probably gonna get three or four more shirts, a couple yeah, dresses, I maybe a pair of shoes. Is, yeah. The other yeah. thing that they are very much known for here is if you want anything tailor-made, there are tailor-made shops all over the place. We haven't quite decided on that one yet. It might be kind of fun to do, but uh, we're not sure. Maybe like a, like a, a three-piece suit, maybe? You can <laughs> we, get that if you want a, to. Yeah, and we see a lot of people walking around that have gotten like matching things. I'm trying to sell Brian on that, yeah, like matching shirt or a matching it. dress. Walk around in our pajamas all day. Yeah. Kind of cool.
Thank you. Ooh. They're sure <laughs> Thank you. So we just got these, they're an herbal tea. Um, our coffee was super sweet and these just kind of look fun and the line was long. So once again, if the line is long, you gotta try it. Um, and they were really inexpensive. They were 16,000 dong. So um, anyways, I've already tried mine. I wanna see what Brian thinks of his. All right, it's, it's, it's beautiful, first of all. <laughs> but I'll be honest, she's got me a little bit worried. I don't know. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous here. <laughs> Mm, that's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. Get one of these. Get one of these. Maybe skip the egg coffee here in Hoi An and get one of these. These are really good and they are very, they're pretty too. So once again, we had no intention of stopping and grabbing these. There was just a line. So uh, always kind of watch for that because that's usually a key sign that something worth trying. I think I look good in this right here. This, this white outfit. I wouldn't mess that up at all. <laughs> Brian can't have any white in his bag. He tried that the first time we went out and uh, it didn't last yeah. long. My diet doesn't call for white. <laughs> His matching shorts and the matching shirt. Yeah. You would look great. Uh huh. Good morning. We must be over in this area, right? Yeah. So, 14, the communal house, communal house. There's kind of the key ones we're supposed to go see. This one. This is the one Brian that looks really good in. I couldn't fit that in my suitcase. <laughs> no, you need another bag for that. So they give you a map on what to find and what to go see when you buy your tickets. <laughs> and it's a little bit like a treasure hunt. Yeah, but we found <clears> it. Well, I think we found it. We found one of them. Okay, so what this is, is one of the old houses. There's multiple, I think there was five different old houses that you can go into, and they are just um, an old house, but they are kept with all the furnishings and everything like that, and you can walk around. So it's kind of fun to see how it's all set up. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry. Nope, I got it. Sorry. My fault. Sorry. My fault. Okay, the people here are incredibly friendly. Sometimes when you're filming and you're not paying attention, you trip and fall over Hello. somebody's bike. It's literally just parked there. She actually apologized to me. It's my fault. I fell over her parked bike. <laughs> Everybody was laughing at me. Not for the video, people. Yeah, I don't even know if you can tell in the video because this thing's so <laughs> stable, but I went down. People were laughing at me. <laughs> with you. They were laughing with me. <laughs> I was laughing.
So this here is an assembly hall, and what I'm reading is, is that they are a place where they were used to socialize, and then some have now been turned into temples. Okay, so we figured it out on these incense. Uh, they're, they're circular, they go all the way around, they burn forever. Uh, hanging from the middle is actually a prayer. So it's, uh, it's kind of neat, I can't read any of them, but uh, that's what they are. It's kind of cool. There's a market that's set up, and I think it's just a daily market that's out here, so you don't have to wait till their night market if you want to kind of do some shopping. And they have a lot of fruit and uh, food. They have flowers too, Carrie. They have flowers, which Brian's not going to buy. I me. would buy you some, but we're only staying in a hotel. He always has an excuse. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Carrie's negotiating. Oh, she's getting, she's getting her down. Are we walking? Are we walking? Okay. Okay, do have it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think she got the price she was looking for. This is dress number two. I haven't bought anything yet. When I see it, I'll know it, and then I'll buy it. Have a good day. Okay, so dress number two. I'm on a mission. Uh, I didn't try it. Didn't try them on, so you just kind of hope for the best when you get home. But honestly, um, so she, they start at one price, and you kind of just want to bring that price down. They know you're going to barter with them, and the best tactic is you start to walk away, and they will then start bringing the price down. So, uh, got this one for it worked out to being eight dollars, just about eight dollars U.S. So. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> time is it? It doesn't need to be noon to be too thirsty. Yeah, it's, it's warm enough to be too thirsty. It is. It's nice to have the sun. We have actually haven't had a lot of really nice days over the last month, so we're really enjoying this. Yes, but we are going to go get a beer. One of the really popular things to do here in Hoi An is to go out onto the river in one of the boats. Now you can do it during the day, but not as impressive and yeah. that's pretty obvious by how many of the boats are still sitting here. At night, all of these boats are out in the river and then you can put out the lanterns from the boat. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool and we'll be showing you some of that. Now you can go out in the middle of the day. They will absolutely invite you to go out in the boat. We're not sure what the cost is, but quite honestly, Nothing here is very expensive. No, it's all been very it's all, affordable. It's all been very affordable. So, so if you want to do it, uh, do it. show you everything on the menu that is in the dish. So for those of us that don't really know what we're ordering, <laughs> this is fantastic. It's kind of a no-brainer. Um, and they have a lot of really popular traditional dishes you're supposed to try when you are here in Hoi An. It's like a picture book. <laughs> it's a picture book. We like picture books. <laughs> okay, so the dish I got is, um, I think it's called Kam Ga. Uh, probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's chicken and rice. It is a chicken that has been stewed in, I think, lemongrass. Uh, it's supposed to be really popular. We'll give it a little try here. And the rice is yellow. It's got some turmeric in it. Mm. It's very good. It's chicken and rice. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, oh perfect. Thank you. So there is, uh, she just brought over some limes and some chili peppers if you want to make it hot. And then there is also some of our favorite little sauce that we have found here. <laughs> Brian would be happy to see that. It's got a lot of flavor, but it is uh, not too spicy. I got bun knit noir. Noodle and meat. I don't know what kind of meat it is, but. Uh... Yeah. 
That's how it's expected. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, these places are cool. You know, you can get away from the tourist sites, come in here with the locals eat. It's gonna be tasty. Okay, so there's always an Irish pub, and that's where we're at. <laughs> there's an Irish pub everywhere. in every city, anywhere in the world, and we'll find it. Yeah, we it's always there. find it. Uh, they're not hard to find, actually. No. Uh, the other thing they always have here is happy hour, and their happy hour kind of runs all day long, which is fantastic. Is so we uh, got two of these uh, really nice big pints, and then we are going to get the third pint, which is the free one, and show that between the two of us. You buy two, you get the third one free, Not a bad which deal. I just figured I'd get the third one because Carrie's a lightweight. So it doesn't work that we're way. We're going to split it. <laughs> we're going to split it. Yeah, and not a bad view here right on the river. So when you're in Hoi An, there are there's the main river and there's Old Town and then there are a couple little islands and we're staying out on one of the islands. Now, out on the island that we are on, it's really a perfect location. Yeah, it's kind of central to everything. Yeah, we walk everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, it just makes it easy because where we're staying is like a two minute walk from the night market, which right. we're at right now. Which is right behind us. Yes. And it's kind of interesting because when you look online, it kind of, I think it said it started at six o'clock. They are setting up right now and it's 3.30. Yeah, and it's and, pretty much set up. Yeah, it's pretty much set up. So, and then you kind of see it shift as the night goes on because when the lights go down and the lanterns come out, the food carts have to move a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, don't, yeah. The you tourist come out nice show and up and it gets packed. So get here early, for yeah. sure. Yeah, what you see right now is not what it is Yeah, it's pretty later. quiet. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sometimes we're just really excited to find a toilet, so I guess they just put it right in the sign. <laughs> they got art, they got toilets, and it's a restaurant. And it's a restaurant. So you they, see beer though. There you go. <laughs> Love that sound. <laughs> okay, so we came here yesterday, full disclosure, and it was fantastic. So we're coming back today. Yesterday I got I got a wonton, fried wonton. It was delicious. But Carrie's, as usual, looked better than mine. So we came back today so I could get what she got yesterday. And she's doubling down also. Okay, so what we got is a dish called cow lao. Like Brian said, I had it yesterday and it is so good. And the thing is, is that it is only made here in Hoi An. And there's a couple reasons behind that. The noodles are made here and they're made from a specific well water. Yeah, so it is something that you specifically have to get here. So if you're here, you have to try this. This is our second time and I may have it for breakfast tomorrow before we leave. So our dinner there was fantastic and no joke, we probably will go back there before we leave tomorrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they were, and it was 35,000 dong each for the bowl of soup. You hadn't had it before, would you No, think? I hadn't. It was tasty. It was so good. Loved it. So when you come here, because you do want to come here, put it on your bucket list. It's kind of quiet during the day. And then at night, it's more like this. Pretty crazy, pretty busy. Yeah. And pretty cool, to be honest with it you. It is. The tour buses kind of come piling in yeah. and they are like lined up strategically. I wouldn't want to be in one of those tour buses because no. it's going to take you a long time to get out of where yeah, they parked you. Yeah, to get home, you. it's going to be a thing. Yeah. And that's also something. If you're coming from Da Nang, I would recommend getting someplace to stay overnight so you can enjoy it and not really have to worry it. about getting home.
I'm not even really sure what it's called. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's so a thing. It's we're good. calling this the coconut pancake thing. coconut <laughs> thing. It's delicious. If you're in Hoi An, stop over here and get one of these because they're tasty. So just do it. It's so delicious. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, so last night I had to share mine with Brian because, you know, tonight I'm not sharing. I might give him a little taste, but uh, so I got my banana pancake with the Nutella on it. And I think you pay a little bit more to get the Nutella or you can get Hershey syrup for a little bit cheaper, but Nutella's better. So uh, these are fantastic. So I already kind of know. But. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Mm. He took the whole piece. That's delicious. <laughs> They're really good. Yeah, highly, highly recommend if you come here. If you are in the area at all, so visiting Da Nang or you just are in Vietnam, I would very much recommend putting Hoi An on your list. Yes. Give yourself at least, stay overnight, enjoy the town at night. It's a must. Yeah, it's an absolute must. It's a bucket list destination. Get some desserts, get some authentic food, and we are gonna see you next week. If you like this video, Please give us a thumbs up. All right, cheers. Cheers to our little dessert. <laughs> cheers with our dessert, not a beer right now. We had enough beer today. <laughs>